Stevenson gets the 15-7 win over Randolph Macon here today at Mustang Stadium. Glenn Clark, MC McFadden with Coach Kathy Raley. Coach, after uh, two tough games against really good teams, how good did it feel to get the, this team back out on the field today and put together sort of the emphatic performance sure. that you guys did? Well, you know, a lot of people always question why I schedule those kinds of games early on. And, and today's, a, a, and in particular, the first half is a big reason why. Um, we played two hard teams in the beginning of the season. We play a team that's a very equal to us in skill and speed on the third game. And here we are. We're so ready and we're so prepared to uh, really dominate in every aspect of the game in the first half. Um, it's a great opportunity to, to play deep into the bench today and get a lot of people experience on, on you know, the coldest day in the history of the world. <laughs> no doubt. Um, there's four people in New England playing today. Oh, I feel bad for them. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm happy that we got to see, really see some things that we've been trying to, you know, at practice work on and make sure we're sending the message uh, to the players that we there are certain things we need to do to win and to play that sharp. I could tell at our shoot around this morning it was going to be a long day for Randolph Macon. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. yeah. That's a good feeling. Yeah, I could tell. <laughs> we, were, uh, we were just talking about it. Yeah. So I had the opportunity to talk with you for quite a while yesterday yes. about mm -hmm. preparation for this game, mm -hmm. your opponent, etc. One of your areas of concern was the draw. Mm -hmm. However, I don't know what you did in practice yesterday, <laughs> but you seem to have taken care of that. Well, you know, I think that uh, we've had extensive discussions, and um, Coach Levinson has uh, really done a ton of investigative work into what's happening via film, what they were bringing uh, to the table, and I think that uh, he put the matchups out there that were working for us. I think in the second half when they made a few shifts on what they were doing, they went from tall to fast, we probably should have echoed that, and we'll continue to work on that and look at the numbers. I'm, I'm a very statistically driven coach, so um, we'll make sure that we're, we're addressing when those switches are in place that we're ready to counter them with, with our own super quick, fast, good ground ball people. <laughs> uh -huh. And you have that. Yeah, <laughs> right. I'm going to give you the question I gave MC in the second half. Obviously, um, they scored the last five of this one. It seemed from up here like you guys were kind of purposefully running certain sets, certain plays in the second half. Um, are you frustrated they scored the last five, or did you think that was more of a case of, hey, we were trying to use this for maybe some practice types of situations? I, I'm never happy to see, no matter what we're trying to do. I mean, obviously, we're not trying to wear the clock down without taking a shot. We took a lot of shots in, in that time. Um, you know, I, I wanted to continue scoring, but I wanted to be deliberate in how we were doing it. Uh, so I think that that was part of the reason. But I think that um, getting scored on five times was I, I that I didn't like at all, yeah. and that was we got we got slow footed, we got we were swinging, we had four yellow cards today. If we want to win the close games, we are not doing ourselves any favors in doing that. So, so we'll have a, a quite a long talk on Monday with the girls to make sure that we're finishing the game, the way we started. Um, you know, the first two games we didn't start fast, and and we ended up getting better as the game went on. Today we had a great fast start, and then we slacked off. A great team doesn't slack off, and, and we really did today. So I don't know how much was the weather, or were we tired because we were playing a different style of defense. We'll figure it out. We'll get to the bottom of it, and we'll correct it and move on. And way easier to go through that when you win by eight goals. Oh, way yeah. Easier. I mean, we had, we had running clock in the first half. So yeah. when you have running clock in the first half, you know, it's you can, you can play a few more people, and you can try a few different things, which, which we certainly did. Yeah. All right. Uh, it's going to be about a month before we see you again. That's right. Uh, We're on the road this year yeah. so much. All right. Biggest goals for the next month as you go on the road, you go out to Colorado, the spring break trip. Biggest goals for this team between now and when conference play starts? We, we have to, in this upcoming week and next week, we have to get good at attacking versus a backer, which is one of the reasons we played a backer today because we're going to see it in uh, quite a few teams up and coming. Um, so that is one goal, to be a great attacking team versus a backer, which we didn't have in the first game. Second thing would be we need to put 60 minutes together and how we do that, I, I, I'm not sh quite sure yet. I'm going to have to really look at it when we're uh, trying to figure out what to do at practice. But we've, we've got to play 60 minutes tough. No matter what the score is, every time that ball goes back to the draw, it should feel like 0-0. Zero, zero. All right, yeah. that's the goal. Yeah. Well, we will see you in a month. Enjoy Thank it. You. Get some wins, and we will see you for conference <laughs> play, all right? Let's, let's hope we have all wins like when we that. see you next time. Good, thanks. Jeez.
Kathy Rayleigh after Stevenson wins the day 15-7. This is GoMustangSports.com.